Yo guys, what's going on? It's Rose here, bringing you guys week 8 of our NBA Season 2 Moonblast Division Championship run. Um, we're facing Grimfinity, host of the uh, Rockets Revenge. Sorry, this is post-com. Um, I, as I was editing the original uh, audio file, um, if you've been in my streams, you know that I often have to deal with these fun little spurts of static that I just can't fix for right now um, until I get a new microphone. And... Um, it happened for like as soon right as the battle was like beginning it was like a couple the first few minutes of it was it just had that really bad static and i just didn't want to use it so i just decided to scrap the whole fucking thing and we're starting from scratch so um also sorry i'm a little bit quiet i'm record as i'm doing this it's like 4 a.m so i'm gonna be a little bit quieter but that's fine um i'm gonna go ahead uh, i'm gonna show you guys um what we decided to bring this week um, we brought Milotic, uh, Flip Turn Haze, Recover, and Toxic, just physically defensive, um, mainly to deal with the possibility for, like, the Amapom, um, Mini Orc to kind of help with that, and the Rhyperior, as well as, like, this thing was a really good defensive check to just basically any physical attacker that he has, um, so I wasn't really too worried about having to deal with the physical attackers, um, in prep, um, we also brought Zera Aura, which the speed on this was for the Ambipom, and then we brought Shookaberry just in case of a, like, Rock Polish, or, like, any any sort of Earthquaking from, like, the Minio or the Red Perrier. Um, anything like that, really. Uh, Plasma Fist, Blaze Kick, Grass Knot, and Knock Off. Uh, we've got a decent bit of uh, uh, special attack investment just to help with the rolls against the Red Perrier. Um, otherwise, relatively standard. Next up, we got Glutton the Guzzlord with a Life Orb, because I thought Offensive Guzzlord actually had a really good matchup this week. Um, we have enough speed for, I believe, completely uninvested Mawile, um, as well as, like, Retain Growth and stuff like that. Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, Dark Pulse, and Dragon Pulse. Pretty standard, uh, for the most part, for an offensive variant. Just, it really did a lot of damage to his team. Um, and I didn't think it would... I, I think once we were able to... Like, once we had the chance of getting rid of, like, the Fini and the, um, or if, if we can catch the Finny on the switch-in, Sludge Bomb does a lot, um, and if we can get the Infernape on the switch-in of, like, a Dragon Pulse or something, it's gonna do a decent chunk of damage, so this thing really just hit everything super hard, didn't have a ton of switch-ins, so I was like, you know what, we're bringing an offensive Guzzlord, and we're gonna see if it can work. Um, next up we got Zabumafu, the Passimian, Banded, U-Turn, Close Combat, Gunk Shot, Rock Slide. Um, this, I believe, let's see, the speed on this, I think it was for uninvested finny um so i in hindsight a part of me wanted to do uninvested to go for uninvested zapdos but i decided not to do that i went for bulk instead um this is a must win game i'm gonna say that as well this game we need to win we have to either win this game or we have to win our, our last game in order to make playoffs um so it is in prep i was really trying to not like hardcore prep, but I wanted to make sure I put myself in the best possible position to win. Um, and so we're going to also bring... We brought SD Lick and Licky last week, and we're bringing it again this week. Um, we're Jolly this time instead of Adamant. The speed, I forget, I think. It might have been for... I'm trying to think. Maybe Uninvested Jellicent? That might have been the speed uh, creep. Or no, that doesn't make sense. It would be Uninvested Finny, I think. Um, we had a lot of speed on this thing. Um, pretty much the exact same set we brought last week, except for, for Jolly instead of Adamant, so nothing too crazy there. And then we brought Celesteela, physically defensive, mainly to deal with the Mawile. This is like the best Mawile check I could have asked for. Um, nothing crazy. Energy Ball, mainly for the uh, right period to kind of proc a possible Rindo Berry to allow, you know, Zara Aura to deal with that. Um, and then Leech Sheet, nothing crazy. Um, as you can see, the six that he brought... He brought the Infernape, the Finny, Zapdos, Mawile, Tangrowth, and Rhyperior. Um, when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is pretty good. This is kind of the six I was expecting. Um, I would, the only thing I would have said was maybe Jellicent over Rhyperior. Um, but I get why he brought Rhyperior. It's a really good Zero Aura check, so definitely props to him for that. Um, but let's see. Turn one, we're going to lead off with Zero Aura, because like I said, this was like the only bad lead matchup for... Zara Aura, and even then, um, we have Shuckaberry, and we can grass out this thing, we'll take an Earthquake, we'll be fine. Um, 
I knock off this turn because I was expecting him to switch out, and I was like, you know what, if I can get a knockoff, like, potential Rocky Helmet off the tank growth or something like that, that'd be great. So we actually knock off this thing's Rindo Berry, which is really good to know that it was Rindo, um, and it's Stone Edges, and we take a lot of damage from this thing, and I want right- I just go right into Milotic, because I'm not dealing with this shit. Um, we also didn't bring any hazard removal, so him getting rocks up sucks, because that pretty much means that Zero Aura is completely useless, so. Um, here you were going to see us Toxic. Uh, we didn't- I didn't expect the Finny to come in on this turn, but that's fine by me. Uh, it does turn out to be- it was actually like a fast Combine Finny with Absorb Bulb, which I thought was interesting. Um, here I just go into the uh, Zero Aura and I just Plasma Fist. Um, and I, I just proceed to knock off on that next turn and sack off Zero Aura. Like I said, um, it would have died on that next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we Sludge Bomb and get rid of Tangrowth immediately, which is good for us. We get that special attacking Beast Boost. Um, here I did not need to risk this. I thought it was going to be an uninvested Mawile. I was wrong. Um, it's some sort of speedy Mawile. Um, I I should have expected that when he brought it in. I didn't, and I lost my Guzzlord for it, which sucks, because this thing put on a lot of pressure. Um, and losing it, it just kind of makes it really hard for us to do much of anything. Um, we do get the Leech Seed off. Um, I do Energy Ball this turn. I didn't, I mean, I should have expected him to go into Zapdos. I did not. Um, I think here I just Leech Seed just to get some extra chip off. Um, we won't take the next Discharge, so I go into Licky Licky to soak it up a little bit, if I can. Um, and I believe I Body Slammed on this turn. Um, or no, I Earthquake predicting the Infernic to come in, which it does, um, which is good for me. And then I think I just Body Slam on, the, yeah, body slam on this turn, just to kind of get some general damage off on this thing. Um, and I believe this turn I Power Whip, I do a ton of damage to this thing. Uh, he wants to Power, or he wants to Drain a Kiss here. I should have... I body slam predicting him to switch out into something like the Zapdos, um, but I was clearly wrong. He goes into Mawile here, which was, you know, the proper play on this turn. I go into Celesteela to kind of wall this thing a little bit, um, and I believe I Leech Seed on this next turn. He does, so he does, as you can see, he misses two back-to-back -back hits, which is very unfortunate. Um, it's something that I deal with on a frequent, like, weekly basis, so seeing someone else go through it, I, under I understand what they are likely feeling, so um, we get that Leech Seed off, which was good for us. Here, um, I just go in my Lodic. I honestly should have just clicked a button, uh, which that's definitely a, a regret of mine that I didn't just click a button. Keeping this, letting this Finny kind of exist was completely unnecessary. Um, I didn't need to let it stay around. I could have just heavy slammed it like three turns ago, and it would have been gone. Um, I let the uh, Celestia down. I go into Passimian because I'm like, at this point, I need to hope he doesn't have Hurricane. He does have Hurricane, and he misses the Hurricane. Um, and I click Rock Slide, and I nearly take this thing out. Um, and I take the Gamble again because I really don't have a choice at this point. Um, he does miss the Hurricane again. I get that off. I go into Licky Licky. At this point, the game is pretty much over. So I'm just kind of fighting for differential um, at this point in time. Um, I go into Passimian because I decide to just kind of click close combat. Um, he does end up having Sucker Punch, which is an interesting set that he didn't bring, like, Steel Stab of any kind. Um, against my team, Steel Stab would have helped him beat the Weezing. Um, so I'm kind of surprised he didn't predict that much, at least. Um, if I had brought the Weezing, then it definitely shuts down Mawile as well because of the fact that obviously he didn't bring Steel Stab and it would have shut down his huge power, so um, we go into my lot of cure uh, and I just kind of haze. The game, like I said, it's over at this point. I know it's over. He knows it's over. I don't have any way of really touching this thing. Um, so he gets that sub up. I can't, I can't do any sort of damage to this thing and at this point I just kind of um, force myself into a loss. I can't win. Uh, there's really no point in me trying to do anything, so I just click Combine, or I just click Haze until I die. There's, like I said, there's no real point. Um, and he is going to win with a 3-0 victory. Um, Finny was definitely a bigger problem than I anticipated, um, and that definitely was my downfall. Um, I didn't quite prep for, for Finny. If 
like my thought process was if Finney was going to show up, it was not going to be offensive. I thought it was going to be like a defensive defog variant maybe, um, or just kind of some sort of utility. But he brought a calm, sub calm mine, which was definitely good prep on his part. Um, but yeah, so we are going to move to I think four and four on the season at this point, and um, we are still fighting for that playoff spot. Um, and our last match of the season is against another coach who is also fighting for the last playoff spot. Right now, they're in playoffs, and we are not, um, as of recording this based on the other matches that have been played. Um, and I, in order to win, or in order to get into playoffs, we either have to win this batch, or we have to lose, or we have to win pretty much no matter what. If we lose, we're out of playoffs. If we win, um... By a start, I think if we win 3-0, then we make it over our Week 9 opponent. Um, or if we went over a certain amount, we could get as high as the 5 seed. I don't see that happening. Um, but regardless, this next this next match in Week 9 is if we lose, season's over. Um, which hopefully that doesn't happen. But regardless, you guys, um, I'm going to get at your hair. Go ahead. In the description, I'm going to leave my Twitter, my Discord, and my Twitch. All that fun stuff. Um... Yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Peace out.